What software do you use for animation? What software would you recommend for animation? Do you know any free software I can use for animation? These are some of the most common questions you will see asked by any beginning animator or digital artist. I was also obsessed with software when I first started animation and digital art, and to a certain extent I still am. It's certainly normal for someone to be interested in software, as it can affect the content you put out, but does it really affect it that much? Today's video will be covering software for animation and a bit on digital art as well. I'll be telling you my experience with software, giving some recommendations, looking more in depth at a couple of them that I've used for a substantial amount of time, and then finally answering the question, is it worth it? Does the software really affect the outcome of your animations, and should you spend the money it takes to get a top standard animation software? So first I want to talk a bit about my softwares and the softwares that I used, um, and kind of the different transitions I made from software to software and why I did that. Uh, so first, the first ever digital art software I got was Fire Alpaca. It's free. Um, it was good for when I had it. I'm glad that I did have it. But now looking back on it, to be honest, it's kind of a bit, it's like, it's got a really like little variety of brushes. And I'd say that's kind of not really good for me because at the moment I'm doing more different types of like, you know, like sketching and stuff. But it was good, like it was fine. It was good for when I had it. So to be honest, I would say, I would recommend Fire Alpaca. I would say it's a good free digital art software. But um, after that, I moved to Critter. The main reason for that was because one, they have an animation feature on Critter. It's still free, so that's great. But they have an animation feature on Critter, which is cool because I wanted to learn animation. Another thing is um, they, they have loads, they have a massive variety of brushes. People call it like Photoshop, but free. So I think that's really good. I'd say the only drawbacks with it is I found the stabilizer a bit weird. And back then I used stabilizer loads for absolutely everything on the pen, the brush stabilizer or whatever. I would say it's a bit kind of weird compared to most other stabilizers that you'll find. And um, I, f I found it quite hard to get used to, like transitioning. It took me a while to kind of get into the groove of using Critter, but I would say it was definitely worth it overall. So then after that, I bought the Adobe Creative Cloud. I managed to get a student discount because I'm a student. And that was probably one of the best transitions I've made because I still use that today. I still use the Adobe Creative Cloud today. Um, back then I used um, Adobe Animate and Photoshop, Premiere Pro, and a bit of Adobe Audition, although I don't, I'd never used it then as much as I use it now because I used um, Audacity. But Adobe Audition is definitely better, but it's expensive. And then finally, my last kind of transition that I made um, is using Toon Boom to animate. Toon Boom Harmony Premium. Uh, the reason I managed to get that is because it I got another student discount. So it got like 80% off or something. It was amazing, very useful. Okay, so what software would I recommend? Um, now I think this kind of depends on price a bit, but um, if, if you're looking for a free software, 100,000 million percent I would recommend Critter and I'm talking about PC software as well this isn't like Android or Apple this is like on a computer or a laptop or whatever I would recommend Critter because you can do animation and you can do art it has amazing high quality brushes different types of brushes that you can use the drawing tools are really nice and again it's just the fact that the both of them come in one and it's free so I would definitely recommend Critter for a free software other than that I think it's a very safe way to go with the Adobe Creative Cloud because you get so much. But again, that is really expensive. Um, to be honest, if you're looking at um, like if you're looking at paying for a software, I would say you can't really go wrong. If you're if you are paying, you can't really go wrong with either the Adobe Creative Cloud, like Adobe Animate, or um, or like Toon Boom or um, or TV Paint. Either they're all really amazing softwares. So yeah, you, you just can't really go wrong. I wouldn't, I don't know what about, completely about TV Pink because I have never used it, but from what I've seen and from what people have been saying, it's amazing. So I'm definitely looking to try that at some point. So I would recommend, that's probably my recommendations if I, if I had to go with some. So first of all, Photoshop, the pros, brush tools. The brush tools are amazing. I love them. I just really like how they work. I think they work really well. I'm really happy. The brush tools in Photoshop are amazing. That's what I'm just gonna say. 
I love them. I think they're really well made. I don't know anything about how brush tools work or whatever, but in Photoshop, definitely a pro. The variety of tools, because obviously like it's a photo editing software, but it's amazing for drawing. And they have such a variety of tools that you can use. I don't know if that's much of a pro because most softwares have the tools. I just wrote it down because I was kind of in the moment. But honestly, I do think that like they just it's just a very good in-depth software. Artboards. Artboards are amazing. I'm just gonna say it. I love artboards. <laughs> like they're so useful. You can use them if I'm doing figure drawing and I'm or gesture drawing and I'm looking at reference. I can like put out loads of artboards, put layers on all of them. I can like okay, draw and then when it's over, flip the artboard, draw again on a different artboard, and then and the flip, and it's just so useful. Like you don't have to worry about making new layers or whatever. You can just use the different artboards. Um, when I'm doing character design, they're so useful. They're like different pieces of paper. You know, like. You just have different pieces of paper that you can draw on and then you can zoom out and see them all in one like all on one page it's just so useful um another thing with the artboards is when i'm when i want to like do storyboards i can use the artboards i can just do each uh, one board on one on one artboard it's so useful so the artboards are really really amazing the animation capabilities i've never tried animating in photoshop but you can so try it <laughs> you know like i've never done it but i'm sure it's good i'm sure animating in photoshop is good so i would say it's definitely worth a shot yeah and you can animate in photoshop amazing for thumbnails yes youtube thumbnails you because it's a photo editing software so you can just make your thumbnails in photoshop even if you're not an artist you can use photoshop for thumbnails and stuff so yeah it's it uh, basically just the photo editing capabilities and yeah, you're able to make youtube thumbnails yeah, overall, I think it's just a really great software. Like, just like just the whole package, everything you get with it, I think it's really, really amazing. So, just just Photoshop in general. Okay, I have one con. That was all I could think of, literally. Uh, my con for Photoshop is when I started, uh, it took me a while to get used to the drawing tools. That might just be me being a bit trashy at art and then improving. But for a while, I found it a lot easier to draw in other animation softwares like uh, Critter and Fire Alpaca and Toon Boom, not Adobe Animate, because Adobe Animate's brush tools are completely different. But like similar brush tools, but for some reason Photoshop just felt different. Maybe it was the brushes that I was using, maybe I needed to find new brushes, but for a while it was just kind of off. And it just it just felt different. So that was that's the one con that I can think of. Literally, I'm sure there's more. Also just want to say, all the things that I'm talking about here might be wrong. Don't take my word as fact, you know? Especially with Adobe Animate and Toon Boom as well, and of on Photoshop, but I mean, especially with Adobe Animate, because I haven't used it in a while. I just quickly used it t a tiny amount just for um, this, because it's the first time I used it in months. So don't take my word for it, you know. I like, I have a strong opinion, but I might miss stuff. So you know, do your own research before you make a decision on what I say. I'm I've I've got a little disclaimer. I am not the biggest fan. And I'm pretty biased when it comes to Adobe Anime because I, I just have a lot of personal problems with it that I don't like how it's done. That does not mean it's bad. <laughs> yeah, I just, I personally have some, I like, you could, you'll you see that there is a lot more pro co cons than, oh, Jesus Christ. There is a lot more cons than pros. Uh, yeah, so, okay. So, cons, the brush tool. I hate it. I despise the brush tool of Adobe Anime. Uh, I've seen loads of people that make it work, but I just can't seem to do it. I could at one point when I, but like the problem for me is once you use the brush tool Ado on Adobe Anime, you can't use any other brush tool because you have to get used to the brush tool of Adobe Anime. And this is just for me as well. I'm sure other people can do it because they're better than me. But when I was using Adobe Anime, I couldn't use the brush tool and then suddenly transition to Photoshop and have them both be good. I had to do one or the other at the time to get used to it. And it'll take me a while to get used to the other one once I move away from it. The brush tool is just so scuffed. There is no stabilizer for some reason. And it says smoothening. Like, I, there's a certain time, like, there's a certain way you can, I'm going to put some stuff up on the screen of it. But, like, there's a certain way you can tell when something's done with Adobe Anime. Because they have, like, this little wiggle to the lines, which are just really scuffed. <laughs> and I hate it. I hate the little wiggle. And you'll see it on screen now. So yeah, that's I, it, I just don't like the brush tool at all, at all. That's the main reason I changed because I just I just hate the brush tool. No variety of brushes, literally no variety. You have you have that one and that's it. That is it. And when it comes to um, 
your brushes like you can't there's a tiny bit of customization in like a new update a while back but honestly it's i just know the, the adobe animate brush tools uh, like the variety the like there's no variety at all there's no sketching brush or anything not that i know of anyway there is a pencil but that's different that's uh, the pencil's good but i'm pretty sure it's different when it comes like you, you don't really sketch with the pencil i'm pretty sure but again i don't know i've never tried to use that i've just seen other people using it the eraser and the brush. This is something I figured out just now. Like I just remembered when I was testing it out for this. The erase, like when you change the size of the eraser, it changes the size of the brush with it. There might be a way to change this. There might be a way to change some settings. I haven't really looked into it because I just found it out again. But from what I know, when you change the brush size, you change the eraser size. And that's just really dumb. Why would you do that? You know, because then you have to change it back. I think you should, but again, there's probably a way you can fix that in the settings. So do your own research, but from what I could figure out in my very short time using it just now, it just makes no sense really. Keyboard shortcuts. I don't like the keyboard shortcuts. Like for some reason, they have they have undo as control Z and, and redo as control Y instead of control shift Z, like everything else, it's pretty stupid. I know you can change that, but what's like, I'd rather just have good shortcuts from the beginning, you know? Like I think that just makes more sense. And then crashes, toon boom. Not Toon Boom. <laughs> um, Adobe Anime is just known for crashing and I don't like it. Why? 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 That's like one of the big things everyone says. Final thing is when I was using it recently, I never noticed before, never. But when I was recently using it recently, it was just really laggy. Like, like I'd do a brush stroke and then like it would glitch out a bit and then I'd be able to draw again later. And it was like, it was just really glitchy and laggy. I don't know if that's me, my computer or if it's the software and it's maybe a new update because there was a new update but it was just really laggy and glitchy and and slow and i really didn't like that it, it didn't feel good to use I, it really didn't compare especially compared to photoshop or toon boom you know it doesn't feel as premium it doesn't feel as premium quality and these like th that's a, that's a massive nitpick you know that's that's like it doesn't really matter at the end of the day but for me it does Let's talk about Toon Boom Harmony Premium. And this applies, uh, most of it will apply to the other two, like uh, Toon Boom Harmony Elements and Toon Boom Harmony Pro, I think. I don't know what the middle one's called, but yeah. Like I'm, but some of it may differ and I'm not sure what exactly because I haven't used the other two. When I say Toon Boom, I'm referring to Toon Boom Harmony Premium on just Toon Boom Harmony, which is the animation one. Storyboard Pro is different, which I want to get. I really want it, but I can't at the moment because I'm paying for too much. <laughs> so first of all, there's just so many options. Like, to, like you could have a lifetime on Toon Boom Harmony Premium when it comes to hand-drawn or rigged animation, or just even drawing. Like, they have really good drawing capabilities. You can export it to Photoshop at the end. I've used that a couple times. If you're, enjoy if you're enjoying this video, leave a like. You know, this is new for me. New kind of video. I'm loving it. I really like this kind of video. Don't have to animate it. I'm going to post my own animations on this channel. I will be posting animations on the channel, but it's going to be my, my own animations that I really want to make. And that's exciting. That's exciting. Yeah. So if you if you're enjoying these new videos, leave a like, leave a comment, share, subscribe. <gasps> also, I'm hoping in these videos you're gonna be able to get to know me a bit better. Drawing sheet. I don't know what drawing. Oh, drawing view. I just I'm I don't have dyslexia. What? <laughs> uh, drawing view. Yeah, they have like a drawing so that you have the camera view and you have the drawing view. I have loads of other views as well, like perspective view. I think. Uh, but the drawing view is really cool because like you have a view for drawing where it's like rendered properly. And they have a, a a camera view which is not. And that's where you can see where the camera is. You can move it around and stuff. And I think that's really useful. And like what I've done at the moment is I've separated the two. So I have the camera view where I can see the whole thing. And I have the drawing view and I can look more in depth and actually draw on it. And I think that's really useful. And I, I like how they've done that. It's new and cool. Um, rigged and traditional. I kind of spoke about this earlier with the so many options. But yeah, you can do rigged or traditional. And that's really cool. That's really, really cool. Um, really nice drawing tools. Yes, I like the drawing tools a lot. They remind me of Photoshop's drawing tools, which is good because I love Photoshop, as you guys already know. Yeah, they have good, they have really nice drawing tools. They're really nice to use. Yes, the cutter and select tool are amazing. They're so good. Yes, and the select tool as well. It, it selects every single brush stroke, which I think is really nice. Instead, so if you, if you want to get rid of a bit instead of having to erase it and maybe having like a messy edge which i still sometimes do because it's sometimes quicker and also it's nice to get used to that for other software yeah i think uh the select tool and the cutter tool they're just really cool 
great timeline. I like the timeline. It's very different to Flash and a lot more complex, but I think it works better in my opinion. It, in my opinion, I prefer the timeline and how it works because it makes a lot of stuff easier. Some stuff dif more difficult but some stuff easy. Pretty good options with brush tool, not as much as Photoshop. Yes, so there's not many options with the brush tools as Photoshop, like different kinds of brushes, but there are a lot, especially compared to, to Flash or Animate or whatever. Cons, there are so many options. I know it was a pro and a con, but yeah, it, there's just a lot. So you will never be able to use it all. And that can be a good thing because you just have no options, but it can be a bad thing because you know, you'll never get to experience all of it. So I can see that. It's very confusing. It can be very confusing to see so much. Yes, it, there's just like, so much can be very overwhelming. I know I got very overwhelmed when I started and I put it off a load using it. It's a lot. <laughs> it, it is a lot and there, it can be very overwhelming and confusing. And it's not very intuitive. That's a fact. It isn't very intuitive. Like, you know, it's, it's, compared to Adobe Anime, it is not, it is not as intuitive at all. Yeah. And the last one, this kind of applies to all of them to be honest, but especially Toon Boom. It's just so damn expensive. <laughs> I got a discount. I got. I did get a student discount, which is really amazing and lucky. But it's. It is still even with the the massive discount. It's really expensive. And if you don't have the funds, you won't be able to get it. And I'm just really lucky that I did manage to have the funds. And um, if you do, then make sure. If you're gonna get it, make sure you will stick to it because it's really expensive. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this new style of video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment, maybe even share. Follow my Twitter, I have a Twitter. I'm gonna post little animations there, little drawings, maybe some, some sneak peeks to animations that are coming up or videos, maybe some announcements. So go follow my Twitter, Discord server, Twitch. I'm streaming on Twitch. I'm gonna try and stream every Wednesday and every Sunday, but that could completely change. Don't take my word for it. But I will be over on Twitch and I will be streaming over there. Uh, also, Instagram, if you really want. <laughs> my Instagram I don't like, but you know, if you wanna go and look at that, sure. So yeah, thanks for watching and bye-bye.